ran my first five kilometer race in 2004, early in the year, and immediately fell in love with, with the sequence of planning, training, executing results. It just really fit my left brain way of thinking. I ran my first marathon in 2005. Who knows how far a marathon distance is? 42.2 kilometers, that's the official distance. It's, uh, it's after the Boston Marathon. Um, when I registered for that marathon, I registered online. I clicked on a little button to raise funds for the associated charity, and friends donated more than $500, and that really surprised me. Um, so I thought there was more I could do with that. And so each year since then, since 2005, I've dedicated my longest or my toughest run uh, to a charity uh, that means something to me. Uh, in 2007, I ran my first ultra marathon. Uh, an ultra marathon is, um, is a run longer than marathon distance, and they typically start at 50 kilometers. So I ran, uh, my first was 50K. I ran my first 100 mile race in 2009 uh, in a little under 30 hours. I ran my first 48 hour race in 2012 and um, ran that same race again in 2013 and finished as second place male. Ran the same race again in 2014 and finished as first place male. Uh, the, the, person, the person who came in first was a, a lady who was half my age. That's my excuse. <laughs> um, in, uh, in 2015, uh, I created my own run. Uh, I had registered for a 600-kilometer run and uh, connected with a charity to do a fundraiser, and um, uh, the run was cancelled, so I had to make my own run. And I'd had enough medallions and finishers medals, and I really didn't think I'd get much better or further than, than what I'd already done. So I started thinking that I could run for a cause instead of running for a ribbon. Um, and I call this run the Canal Pursuit for Mental Health. It's a 785-kilometer run from Port Severn along the Trent Severn Canal down to Trenton, across to Kingston, and then up to Ottawa along the Rideau Canal. And before I did it, uh, the first year, I bought uh, a Canadian flag. And I asked people, and I'll ask, I'll ask you, I'll have this flag out later, um, if you or someone you know, someone you love, struggles with depression, anxiety, PTSD, any mood disorder, please sign my flag like two or three hundred other people have. And I'll carry this the full distance of my run as a symbol that you don't have to carry your burdens alone. So in 2015, I ran to Ottawa. Um, I ran 90 kilometers a day for eight and a half days. I, I don't recommend it. Um, <laughs> Then I did it again in 2016. Um, then in 2017, 18, and 19, I set it up as a relay to get more people involved, actually to get me running less, but to get more people involved. <laughs> and more people meant more mental health advocacy and more, um, more fundraising. And we have raised over $60,000 for the Mood Disorder Society of Canada. Um, a friend, thank you. My friend Carlota in Peterborough um, liked the way I organized the, the relay, so she recruited me to help her with a thing called the, the Monarch Ultra. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. She wanted to organize a documentary film and relay run from Peterborough, Ontario, through the US to the Sierra Madre Mountains in Mexico to follow the migration path of monarch butterflies. And she already had a film director fully, fully committed, so how could I say no? So we started planning in uh, April of 2018. Um, I became the run director, so I was responsible for creating the, the route, the maps, and organizing the runners and making sure all of the people got to the right place at the right time. 4,326 kilometers. Um, most marathons have five or six aid stations, you know, the table where they have the cups of water. Um, I mapped out 438 aid stations. Uh, I printed 1,000 pages of maps and turn-by-turn -turn directions for, 
the runners and the support crew and uh, organized most of the logistics for hotels and meals and, and all of that. Um, the plan was to run about 100 kilometers a day um, in Canada and the US and 80 kilometers a day in Mexico. Uh, the days would be getting shorter. It's going to be a long journey uh, as well as road safety in Mexico. And we would recruit ultra runners, so runners running 50 kilometers or longer, 50K, 80K, or 100K distances to, to fill the, the 4,300 kilometers. And any days where we didn't have a runner, either I or Carlota would run to fill in the gaps. Um, and we started on September 19th of uh, 2019, about three months ago. We headed out. There was a big fanfare in uh, Peterborough because Carlotto was from Peterborough. Two other of our support crew were from Peterborough. And uh, on day two of the Monarch Ultra, we um, ran through downtown Toronto. And the guy who was driving our support RV drove under a low structure and took the air conditioner <laughs> off of the top of the RV. On day three, the second runner of the day was a roofer. And he arrived early and fixed the gaping hole in the top of the RV. <laughs> uh, on day four, we... Uh, can I put this over here? Uh, on day four, we crossed the border into Michigan. Uh, we crossed the St. Clair River on a ferry. Um, and became a, a truly an international event. Uh, it, was a, it was a big day. Um, on day six... Uh, I was running and I ran across the state line from um, Michigan into Ohio and finished the day at a high school, one of six high school stops that we made through the route uh, and talked to students. Um, we stopped because a teacher had planted, uh, had recruited some student help and planted a pollinator garden to teach her students about the importance of pollinators and um, um, bees and butterflies in our ecosystem. On day 32, <laughs> It's only 10 minutes. <laughs> On day 32, we crossed the border into Mexico um, in a van. We cleared the customs area, and there's a town square. There are six police cars, an ambulance, and a fire rescue truck, all with lights flashing. And my first thought was, we really need to stay away from those guys. Um, turns out they were our police escort. And we had, for the entire time that we had runners on public roads in Mexico, we had police escorts for them. Um, we were really well received by the state governments in Mexico. We uh, spent about a week and a half running through Mexico. We finished, yeah, whoops, finished in uh, central Mexico on day 47 with a 30 kilometer run up a mountain. Uh, I have the GPS track. Um, uh, into a butterfly sanctuary. It was, uh, it was amazing. Um, I, in the whole event, I ended up running about um, almost 400 kilometers. Carlota ran about 450 kilometers. Um, and uh, I'm glad to be back in Canada, although the food was amazing. Um, a couple of things that I've learned in that whole running career process, and it's far from over. I've got a 200-mile race coming up in the spring. Um, I learned that I can run really far, or really long, with very little sleep. I can't run very fast, but I can run for a long time on, and, and get very little sleep. The first year I did the Canal Pursuit, I ran about 20 hours a day for, uh, for the week. Again, I don't recommend it. I said that before, right? Um, I also found that I uh, learned that I'm uh, pretty good at organizing stuff. I can juggle a dozen balls at a time, keep things, um, keep things moving. And I consider those two things as gifts. And I feel that I'm blessed that I've been able to find those gifts, identify them, and use them for something good. And in that vein, um, I've also learned that if you're doing something that's good and something that's right, people will want to help. The Canal Pursuit was not a solo effort. The Monarch Ultra was not a solo effort. We found some people that were of like mind. Uh, each of those projects still needed a champion. So if you're thinking of doing something big, uh, there still needs to be a driver and a champion. Uh, but don't be afraid that you're going to have to go it alone. If you're doing something that's good and that's right, people will want to help. The Canal Pursuit for Mental Health, 6th Annual, starts off in Port Severn. 
on uh, August 22nd this year. The second Monarch Ultra relay to Mexico will start in September of 2021. Why run for a medal when you can run for a cause? Thank you.